Hey guys, Uncle Tony Peru here. Today we're doing my music CD collection part two. You guys seem to have really liked the first one and I have gotten some since the time that I made the first one. So I figured that I would make a second one because I always plan on doing it. What I will say is that I'm the third, there might not be a third part. If it will, if there is, it will be like further down the line because I pretty much have every CD that I'm looking for with the exception of maybe, exception of maybe like seven or eight which that would be enough for a video but uh you know we'll see so update uh last time that i was here when i did this i cracked my vaudeville villain i bought a new one um i haven't opened it because i still have the old one and it works just fine just the case is cracked so just figured i'd share first up we got uh, kanye west's graduation um i like this i like this album Obviously, Stronger, Can't Tell Me Nothing. It's got some bangers. Um, next up, I honestly always forget the name of this album because the name of it is so fucking long. But it's uh, Bring Me the Horizon. And, um, my, bad. my favorite songs on here are Kingslayer, Obey, <clears throat> and um, One by One. And Parasite Eve is really good. Dear Diary is good. One day, the only butterflies left will be in your chest as you march towards death. Is pretty good. It's it's a good album. I like it. I am waiting for their new album to come out. Uh, their album has already come out, but the CD hasn't come out yet. So, well, we shall see when that comes out. Operation Doomsday got this at the same time that I got a uh, vaudeville villain from the same website from MF Doom's uh, official website. Operation Greenbacks, I really like. Uh, Dead Bent is really good. Red and Gold is probably my favorite off the album. Doomsday is good. Yeah. MF Doom is good. Uh, another Kanye. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Is that what this is called? I, I always forget the, the full name of this. I'm sorry. Um, it's a good album. I haven't listened to the whole thing, but it's Kanye. And I plan on collecting all of Kanye's CDs. So, we shall see. Next up we have, I want to point out that I hate these fucking albums where they're the cardboard fucking boxes. I absolutely can't stand them. Next up we have Novelists with Deja Vu. This album's, it's okay. It's it's not bad. I really like Smoke Signals, Made by Design, and, and Terrorist. Um, this album, it's nothing, it's nothing fantastic, but I saw it for cheap and I'm like, eh, fuck it, I'll buy it. it it's good though, it's good. Next up, Every Trick in the Book by uh, Ice Nine Kills. Um, I'm outside right now, and there's, like, ants sometimes that are on this fucking counter that I'm on. It's getting annoying, but, um, every trick in the book. Communion of the Curse, Bloodbath and Beyond, Me, Myself, and Hyde. Some of the best songs by Ice Nine Kills. When I first heard Me, Myself, and Hyde, I think I only listened to Me, Myself, and Hyde for, like, two months straight. That was probably, like, there are a few songs out there that I think, I, there that I've ever liked more than of Me, Myself, and Hyde when I really liked it. So good. Next up, uh, we're going to the normal CDs now. Um, Falling in Reverse. I'm pretty sure this album called I'm Not a Vampire. But this album's good. I think it's their best album besides their newest one, which hasn't fully come out yet. Called Ronald. Is it? I think the album's called Ronald. But yeah, they released uh, most of the singles for it, and it's good. But this album, yeah, Raised by Wolves, I'm Not a Vampire. Um... What's the other song I like here? Uh, Dr the Drug in Me Is You. Good, good album. Good album. Not bad. Some people don't like Falling in Reverse. Some people say it's uh, cringe. Some people say that like it's embarrassing when you like Falling in Reverse. I disagree. I think they're pretty good. Next up. Uh, Tales from the Lotus Paw by Dark Lotus. This is not the original version. This is the version that has ABK. Anybody Killa. Which some people don't like. Some people think that this is the worst version. I still think it's good. I, I don't mind ABK that much. What I want to point out is that uh, you might be thinking, hey, uh, Uncle Tony, um, that album is expensive. And you're damn right it is. It's I paid 50 bucks for this shit. <laughs> and that's cheap for this. So I like it. Yeah, my favorite song on here is And We Dance. Juggalo Family is good. Bitch, I'm Sexy. Alibaba. And I listed those off the top of my head because there's no fucking... Uh... And if you look in the disc inside, if I can open it doesn't even show anything but yeah i like this album i do plan on getting black rain by dark lotus but tales from the lotus pod is their best one so i had to get that one first next up we have infamous by motionless and white motionless and white it's my favorite band 
Um, I don't think they really became my favorite band until um, Disguise came out. But I do still think this is good. Burn at Both Ends is good. America is good. If It's Dead Will Kill It is really good. Uh, synthetic is good. No, not Synthetic. Uh, well, synth Synthetic Love is good. But what's the song I like on here? Cinematic. That's what it is. That's the song I like on here. Yeah, good album. Not Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. That's good. I do still think that they didn't really hit their shit until this came out, which is Reincarnate. Reincarnate, Wasp, Break the Cycle, Puppets 3, The Grand Finale, Contemptress. This is when they started getting really good. And then they continued this sh the uh, with Graveyard Shift. Um, I don't have Graveyard Shift. I can't find it anywhere for a good price. So maybe, maybe that's a part three. Next up, we have Eternal Blue by Spirit Box. Spirit Box, one of my favorite bands. Probably, probably, it's either Motionless and White or Spirit Box. That's my favorite. But yeah, Holy Roller, Circle With Me, Hurt You, Eternal Blue. Good songs. I do like this album, but I think that they didn't become my favorite until the, uh, what's it called, came out. Their newest EP, which is, what's that shit called? I'm not calling it, uh, The Fear of Fear. Which I do have, and that was featured in part one. Next up, uh, See What's on the Inside by Asking Alexandria. I think this is their best album. Some people might disagree with me, and I disagree with those people. Alone Again, If I Could Erase It, Find Myself. You made it this far, The Grey. Bro, The Grey is like one of their best songs I ever made. I absolutely love The Grey. If you haven't listened to this, bro, listen to it. It's really good. And last but not least, we're already at the bottom, bro. This was, like, significantly shorter than the last one. But, uh, Gorillas by Gorillas. Listen, I I barely listen to Gorillas, but I respect them, so I buy their albums. That's pretty much it. Um, they got they got some good songs on here, though. Uh, everybody knows Clint Eastwood's really good. And then you got Starshine, which is really good, and Rock the House. Those are probably my favorite off the album. But, yeah, that's it. Again, if you, I said this in the last time, the last video. If you have any music suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. I do have a list of things that I'm still looking for, but that list is significantly shorter than it was the last time. But yeah, if you have any music suggestions, just let me know. That's it. See ya.